Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your Pontiff Archibald Chesterfield the third and today guys I'm just making this video just to tell you about my live stream channel. For guys, if you don't know it already, I do daily live streams. Now guys, it's not on this channel, it's actually on another channel called Archie Luxury Live Streaming. Live stream. I basically separate my channels. I've got the Archie Luxury channel, which is my, my general channel. I've got the Paul Pluto channel, which I do paid watch reviews. I've got the Archie Luxury live streaming channels, my daily live streaming home. And then of course I've got Elite Luxury, which Jesus Christ, Arch. I got a couple of girls. I do handbag perfume type reviews for ladies. It's so cringeworthy. You gotta look at it. Guys, I just wanted to tell you, I, um, I'm gonna put a link. I'm not sure if it's this corner or that corner. I'll put a link. Uh, go and take a look at some of my other channels there. And I, I just wanted to, to make this video and talk to you. A while ago, I was talking to Nico, Nico Leonard. And I gotta be totally honest with you um he said to me hey arch it's all good because me and him patched it up he spent a thousand dollars advertising and uh i even i even got another fridge another fridge there second fridge which is covered in his advertising and i gotta tell you i him, we patched it up and he said hey arch if you want we could have watch eric we could have Roman Sheriff. We could all come together. Paul Thorpe. We could all come together and do a live stream together on my channel. And I thought about it. I thought, yeah, that'd be really cool. It would be really, really cool to have these guys on. The only problem is... Nah. I gotta lick their assholes. I gotta lick their ass. I gotta make them feel important. Make them feel special. See, I'm not really good at licking assholes. It's not really my cup of tea. I am independent and I like to make my own videos. And, you know, recently I had a crew of guys and I started firing them. I started firing them. They who shall never be named again. Why did I fire them? Well, they were traitors. They started streaming three hours before my show, three hours after. And I basically was the toilet break. They were streaming and streaming and streaming. And I got to be honest with you, there was a lot of disloyalty there. And, you know, I got to tell you the truth there. I very much, I founded this community. Uh, you know, I'm one of the original, oh gee, I'm one of the original YouTubers here. Uh, and, you know, in the watch space. 
And I got to be honest with you, I invest a lot of time and effort into making videos. Okay? Now, in this day and age, the, the money's not in the videos. The videos don't bring in much money. But I continue to apply the craft because I think we need an essential library of videos about horology, watches, watch collecting for the community. And although these phony, phony YouTubers, they pretend it's all community, let's sing Kumbaya, they're all self-interested sons of bitches. That's what they are. They're basically self-interested sons of bitches. And I really, uh, it's all phony. You know, it, they don't invest making quality content for YouTube. No, they want to run a live stream. It's sort of like the equivalent of talkback radio. Now, I, I do the live streams. Yeah, I did. I perfected this genre. But guess what? Guess what? They've kind of... Uh, they're happy to do the things that bring in the bucks. They don't want to actually make quality content or quality, put, do some research and really explore. I mean, I've got bookshelves on the other side of the camera here, bookshelves full of magazines, uh, catalogs for, through years, years of catalogs, reference sources. I, I've got hundreds of books and magazines and catalogs and I try and improve my knowledge. I'm not, I never said I was the most knowledgeable or I know everything. I fight things up all the time, but I try, I try. And I, I got to be honest with you, a lot of these new fly-by-night fake gurus, they come on the scene and sure enough, you know what it is. They've been on the scene for five minutes, forget making videos. They will do live stream for hours because it's easy. All you need is a microphone, a camera, a webcam, and a bit of lighting, and off you go. I got to be honest with you, it's extremely disappointing. Extremely disappointing that the world has gone this way. Everything has become so quick and for the buck. Nobody really cares about producing quality stuff as a reference point. No, it's just how can I make quick bucks now? And I, I got to be totally honest with you. It's very disappointing. I'm disappointed with the new breed of YouTube watch channels that they just do the lowest common denominator. And I, I gotta be honest with you, I felt I feel really used. I feel really used by these people. And I th I honestly thought they were my friends, but there's no friends in this business. It's all ratings based. And, you know, I, I got to be, be honest with you there. It's incredibly disappointing when I put such effort. I, I made a video the other yesterday, well, the other day about what's the greatest watch. Well, I researched it. I got a, a friend of mine, a fan of mine who actually owns this incredibly expensive, it was a Patek World Time Khaleesi dial. I got him to make video for me. And I put video, I put, I, I, I wanted to share this. I want to share this with the community so the community can see what a beautiful uh, Patek, what the most, what I consider the most beautiful watch of our modern times. Now, the problem is that doesn't rate as well as doing a live stream talking about which Rolex should you buy. And... It's, it's sad. It's a very sad world we live in where the new breed of YouTuber, watch YouTuber, they don't give a stuff about the community. They just want to make fast bucks. 
fast bucks. I mean, if you care about the community, why don't you do some proper journalistic research, make some really nice videos and piece it together. And I've, I've got to be totally honest with you. This is the important thing to do. This is the important thing to do. So uh, I, I just find it so disheartening that the new breed of watch enthusiast is, they're not really watch enthusiasts. They're just trying to bring in as much buck super chats as possible. And it's disappointing. It's very, very disappointing. So, um, yeah, it, it's it, it, it's a letdown. It's 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 it is it is a letdown, and I'm I'm disappointed. And um, please, guys, check out the channels. I'm not sure which corner. Check on the channels, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Put some comments below, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Friend of me, any me, all these neck neck just wanna be a mini me, all these neck neck just wanna be a mini me, all these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. Friend of me, friend of me, any me, all these neck neck just wanna be a mini me, all these neck neck just wanna be a mini me, all these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends, and don't be afraid to get a paid review. 50 US dollars for a paid review. It helps me stay full time on YouTube, and I will see you in the next one. 50 US dollars paid review. I can't survive on Google Ads. I need your support. And guys, you could also sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month to keep me on YouTube. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right guys. Vintage Watch Co.